Hi, welcome to this tutorial about Arch Linux. We're going to install the Arch Linux base. It's for Eric Dubois PE where we install all the different desktop environments, Cinnamon, X XFCE, i3, Budgie. Take a look at it. Um, but we always start with Budgie. So we're working on this uh, distro, which is Linux Mint 18.1 Serena 4.9.9 with the latest ZSH in i3 with the special, no, the normal Arc Dark and the special Sardi Mono icons. We have installed VirtualBox in order for you to follow everything. And before we do, we've uh, downloaded from Arch Linux, download the new one, the new one from February. Last time I made a tutorial about the zero one, zero one. So now it's uh, a new kernel that's inside and we are going to uh, film everything and make a tutorial about it on VirtualBox. Let's maybe move our VirtualBox from screen one to screen uh, seven. Here we are. So we have VirtualBox installed and then you go to new and let's install it from scratch. It's gonna be really an arch base, meaning I'm going to stop just before we install Xorg desktop environments, anything else. So really the base system gonna give half of my memory to the new system and create a hard disk with more or less around 20 it's okay this is gonna be my arch base but don't start it yet go to settings and then go and check and figure out what systems you would like to change for instance this is our memory again but we have eight CPUs, so we can give four to the system and things like display, we don't need that. Yeah, we do need it. Let's make it 50-50 for the display, more or less. It doesn't matter if a bit less. The storage is important. So the CD-ROM, the DVD, should be this one, Arch Linux 2017-0201, or the latest at the moment you're watching this tutorial. And then you say, okay, because the rest is set. Now you can go for a start, but um, working on under i3 is sometimes a challenge. I wanted to try this uh, for me as well. So I'm gonna do Windows Shift and move the left one to the other screen, to number five. I'm gonna hover over it like so, and it's gone. So now we're only filming the right monitor. And here are my challenges. As you can see, uh, the image is a bit torn apart, top on the left, top on the right, uh, but anyway, no problem with Arch, Arch is booting, only I can't really see it. So here we have this slider, now I'm gonna try and hopefully I'm gonna get it quickly. So these are options, but they are all grey out, grayed out. I can maybe do a scale factor, but that won't help. And last time I tried to make the tutorial, I did this one, scaled and I switch it. And now you can follow uh, what needs to be done. On the other monitor, I have the article open ericdubois.pe, how to install Arch Linux. So that's the base installation. And don't say it's gonna be the same on your hardware. Of course not, it's other hardware. But um, for instance, I do start with something you might not need to do. I'm gonna type load keys. I'm in a part of the world where I have learned from uh, childhood that I should type everything in Azerty. So I'm blind typing on Azerty, so I don't want a QWERTY. So that's my first actually uh, first decision I have to make otherwise my work is a bit difficult so CF disk let's whoops backspace let's go and have this CF disk device SDA what you want DOS and so on yes we do want DOS free space lots of free space we've taken 20 uh, gigabytes um, we can take for instance a new one and then we decide how much do you want to take 15 22 not 22 because we only have 20 so why not go for 15 
gigabytes, it's just a virtual machine. 15, primary, bootable. Those are the things you should do. Free space now is going to be something special. It's going to be primary, type, one up, Linux swap, quit. But first, write. Are you sure you want to write? Yes, you have to type it in full. Yes. And now we can quit. So do check it out again on top. So we have the SDA1, which is bootable. It's 15 gigabytes. It's Linux. SDA2, which is going to be 5.2 gig. It's uh, going to be a swap. Okay, everything checked. Everything written. Then we quit. Next up, check the website again, ericdubois.be, how to install Arch Linux. I'm doing just the same, and the last time I tell it to you. So it says make, make a file system. So we have now divided the cake into two parts, and one of the cakes is gonna be in XT4, and the other one is gonna be a swap. So let's tell him that this one is gonna be for our file system. MKFS, make a file system. What kind of file system? Just take the four. That sounds good to me. It's SDA1. Done. Then we're gonna make another one. This one, this one is not for a file system, this is for swap. Device SDA2. Done, but you should activate the swap. Swap on. Where is the swap? SDA2. The swap on is the, uh, well, that's it. Now we're gonna mount our new file system that we have created. Uh, which one is that? I wanna mount this one. Where do you want to mount it? I like to mount it in mount. Good idea. Then we're gonna get all the basic stuff. We're gonna use in mount we're gonna put in mount the base and the base development so all the packages enter 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 don't think about it every package that's needed that uh, we'll need in the future the base and the base install base development i mean is going to be installed and we are at 4.9.8 i think i saw passing so the linux kernel that's the last one 4.9.8 8.1 I think it was we'll check it out later so everything is going to be well it is already downloaded so it's going to be installed now just uh, enjoy the show I would say in the meantime I'm scrolling over my web page next up is gonna be gen fs tab pausing for a moment oops okay in the meantime everything is installed so next up gen fs tab generate fs tab minus u and uh, slash mount to the mount dcfs tab and done let's go and arch the root into the system with arch root yep nope 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 everything should be exactly as it should be arch root use the tab then there's no mistake just mount bin bash okay well now the line has changed you see a red root and a red root and now the line is changed so we inside our system in the mount device sda1 all right what's next nano etc locale gen let's generate oops control c typing a lot of mistakes now because I said that it was could type blindly probably. So like the LA gen, all right. Page down, page down, page down, page down. I want this one, page down, page down, page down, page down. 
I want British one and I want US a bit further. Always UTF-8. Never choose ISO. I've done it once. Flow of errors. Okay, yes. The collagen has been done. Let's now generate them with this command. Three of them have been generated. Echo. The language is yen underscore us dot utf minus eight. And we're going to put it inside this file. That's done. Export language yen underscore us dot utf minus eight. That's done as well. Now we're going to edit etc v console console.conf damn typos v console.conf correct then our key map is gonna be e letter one font is gonna be let my w minus 16 control c uh, sorry control x exit <laughs> don't exit type yes enter done i'm going to remove the thing that's already there the local time there is already a local time in my system cannot remove no such style ah, it's gone so in this release there is uh, the february release i don't have to do it then again that's nice so let's put the minus s user share zoom info europe Brussels. And that's my local time oh, fail to create the link oh, it does exist already okay let's really try to remove it again etc local the time okay all right so the link is being replaced what it whatever it was it's now Europe Brussels and then the clock the clock is set in sets this is my system's name I'm gonna put it in host name that's a good idea and now another great idea is making this one this edit this file and going to the end one tap and putting it here as well one tap putting it here as well control x yes enter and now I want to have internet and I want to have later on network manager anyway so why not install it now I want to have it now and in the future installed um, yep first let's enable it as well system control enable type it correctly at uh, big uh, letters here network manager otherwise it won't work created links fine make it cpio minus p Linux. that's done as well almost there for phase one 4.9.8.1 there it is so that's our kernel then I've done the last thing I did was that so I'm gonna 
put my password in here. Voila, the root has a password. Let's install group. And let's now put everything in place. So it can boot. I386 minus PC. Correct? No, PC. Okay, recheck. Device SDA. If we don't get any errors, then everything is fine. Again, continuation of the group minus O boot because we want to write the boot file. The group CFG configuration file is going in there. We can unmount. I always type N unmount, but it's U mount. It means unmount device SDA1. Enter. And we're gonna exit since we're in this device SDA1 working. Now we're back in this red root there and we reboot the system. And hopefully, we don't have any issues with our terminal here. I have to boot into the existing OS, not inside my USB again. So like so, I'm gonna get rid of the USB, U of the ISO I mean, shortly. This is phase two. So on LED WBE, I have this article. I'm now in phase two. Okay, login with root. Root, password. We're root now and we're going to add myself to it. Minus M, minus G, users, minus big G, wheel, comma, storage, comma, power, minus S, add like bin dash, ZSH is not installed yet. Eric, I'm in adding myself, I'm giving myself a password, and I'm gonna give myself some extra power. Back down here, we have to look for this one. Uncomment to allow members of a group wheel to execute any comment. This is the one we need. Okay, so Windows X, yes, enter. That's that. I do like my bash completion, so I want it to be ready when I boot as Eric. And then we continue working in Eric, so we're gonna exit. Phase three. Now I am who I am, I'm Eric. That's my password. And this is actually our base installation. Next up, you'll see on the graphical card I've made, there are different building blocks. We have our hardware, the base system, the kernel and the <coughs> file system, that was this. Now we have to decide what kind of graphical user interface we want. Xorg, we want window managers, display managers, uh, what desktop environment, GNOME, XFCE, MADE, what applications, Firefox, GIMP, etc. So these are all decisions you still have to make. But for me, this was the base installation and tutorial ends here.